busking, playing on the street just for fun or in it for the money, entertaining a crowd or just a single person. We wanted to know more, so we took to the streets of Dublin to find out just why buskers do what they do. My name is Gustavo Iglesia. I'm from Argentina, so I'm happy, happy to be able to meet people, to be able 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 to so my name is Camila Cope. I'm a busker here in Dublin. I'm from Brazil. I'm from Sao Paulo. And I'm bus because here in Ireland it's pretty good, you know, to play on the streets. Everybody knows you and everybody follows you like this, you know, so I can share my, my music. Hi, I'm Paddy Ryan. I'm from Dublin. And I bus because I love playing music and I love the energy you get off people when you sing to them and, and then someone will come up and change, change your day because they'll be like, ah, oh, it made me smile, thank you very much. And just cheers me up, you know, I get good at vibes off people when I play music and I love it. There were similarities in all of the answers. They busk because they want to share music to the world and spread joy. But they busk to get their music out there. We wanted to find someone who was trying to make busking into a career and that is when we found Sebastian. My name's Sebastian and I'm a busker. I was born in Germany. I moved to England when I was 15. So I started busking when I was 17 and I needed to make money somehow and I couldn't work in a bar, or pub or you know sort of typical student jobs because I was underaged. And yeah, I started busking in Germany sort of every now and then and I remember making good money so I just started busking again in London. At the time I was trying to be an actor and I was working in theatre. And I had absolutely no musical ambition before I started busking. I'd always played music, both in Germany and also in England. We were performing and I always greatly enjoyed it and I was always like, oh, you have such a great voice, you should be a singer. And then I started busking and for years, like I was working as a full-time musician for maybe two, three years, and in my head I was still like, oh, I'm going to be an actor, I'm just sort of doing this because I'm riding this music wave right now, I'm really enjoying it. Um, I think it was only like two, three years ago when I was actually like, oh, I'm a musician, I'm a, I'm, I'm a full-time professional musician, I'm doing music with my life, that's what I'm doing with my life now. And people look at it like a hobby, but it's a job, it's a profession, it's a craft. It's, you wake up in the morning, you do your job. Like, sometimes you're there and you play to no one, and you just have people on the pass, or a few people stopping. And then, you know, suddenly, out of nowhere, you have a hundred or two hundred, three hundred people around you. So that's that's basically, you're, you're not busking anymore, you're basically doing a show. Um, and I find that great. I find that greatly enjoyable. The music slowly started taking over my life more and more. I started getting offered gigs, cover gigs, and people were like, oh, you should write your own stuff. Then we can, you know, you can open for this band. So I went and wrote, you know, half an hour worth of material. I didn't want to get a job, I just wanted to play every day because I wanted to get better at it. And I noticed that actually busking greatly improved my playing. I was getting more confident. I was building endurance of playing for hours. You know, I would busk for four or five hours and then I would do a 90 minute to two hour gig in the evening and then do another gig after that and go home at like 2 a.m. You know, once a week, multiple times a week, I wake up and like, why are you doing this to yourself? Just get a job, study, go to university, get a degree in economics. And through COVID as well, I think that was that was very difficult to deal with. Suddenly, going from every day having people come up to me telling you how great you are, which is the reality of busking and reality of performance, to not having that at all, that was pretty hard. I struggled, like, I never really struggled with anxiety, ever. And then I turned 23 and I was, like, getting panic attacks. Like with everything, you know, those moments are the moments you, you really doubt yourself and you really, like, you know, throw it all on the sand and then you, then you have, like, one great experience one good show or someone come a stranger coming up to you in the street be like oh man you're you're Sebastian Chipon you know I love your parents I love that song I really love performing like I feel the best when I'm on stage I just love it and the more I learn about it the more the more I dive into it the more exciting it gets very intense experience with a with a room full of people singing music back at you that you've written in your bedroom having a moment with them sometimes you really have a moment sometimes you have a moment with a, with a collective group sometimes you have a moment with an individual and you know you, you pick a person out in the crowd and you look at them you have a moment you sing someone you have this connection with someone at that moment and that's amazing so yeah I guess you can say busking was the key to it all as we can see busking means many different things to many different people it can help them pursue a career within music or just spread joy busking is a big part of a city's culture and it'll be 
Forever the sound of Dublin City, every busker has a great passion that drives them. They were all born to perform. We made the sun arise twice.